Hello and welcome everyone. This is John RMS, aka Ace Bullion here. And, uh, well, another feel good video. That's right. <laughs> here we go. Well, I've shown this package. And by the way, yes, there is a coin review. So, full disclaimer as well um, that uh, obviously the coin review is in courtesy of the Silver Trader. Uh, so, make sure you check out. The links in my description where you can not only find his link but also my link to my website and so on and so forth so with all that being said because I do say it a lot and people think that I'm the silver trader I'm not the silver trader okay <laughs> honestly but um, he is my sponsor I make it very clear so here we go without further ado here's something that I got in and uh, well, I can't wait to see what's inside, quite frankly. Got my trusty old knife here, and uh, gonna open it up nice and carefully because, well, it's obviously from the Sticker Mule. And uh, I know their packaging is actually really good. Put my knife there. Ta-ha, free coaster. It's actually pretty good because I've been using uh, that a lot and uh got another free sticker stick that up i'll have to uh show you guys my updated uh sticker wall board and stuff because um i received an awful lot of uh stickers over kind of the winter time and uh i really haven't updated it with anything so what is Ace doing? What is Ace Bullion doing? Because this this is Ace Bullion's part. Well, don't need that. <laughs> well, I decided to go for some of these kind of cut to size stickers. And in fact, I'm not going to even take it out, but we're going to have a look together. And uh, well, they made my logo absolutely superb so this is a nice just a nice easy round sticker and i have the camel background my american flag the british flag as well so it really does lend itself perfectly and i'm super super pleased so well done sticker mule huge thumbs up I'll, uh, I'll be sure to share this around and uh, show everyone on Instagram and uh, Twitter and everywhere else, including, obviously, YouTube. Here you go. Ha-ha. <laughs> so, super cool. Um, next up, here we go. Here's the part where the Silver Trader gets involved. This is super cool. Now, the last video I showed you a few days ago was a really cute I mean, seriously cute. I mean, I can't describe how cute the dang thing was. It really was. Um, and it was the Year of the Mouse. Well, here I have, and let's uh, kind of zoom in a bit. Okay. Well, I say a bit. Here, we'll put on to three times magnification. It is another Australian Mint. You can see there, Australian 2021 $1. What I like immediately, this is a side I'm always criticizing. Um, but what I like immediately, well, yeah, is all the animals around it. So the years of. So let's first start off with the queen, because we always do the queen first. And uh, here we go as we get it. We have her wearing a lovely... Uh, her lovely crown, earrings, and jewels. And we have Jody Clark's initials on the side. Jody Clark is one busy person. That's all I can say. So, let's see here. What do we have? Well, let's just start somewhere in the middle. We have the rooster. We have a dog. We have a pig. We have a rat. That's the first one, by the way. The first one, and then it goes around. So actually, as you look at the coin, you're gonna notice that the rat is the first one. 
Does that give you a clue yet? Well, you'll soon find out. The ox or bull sometimes. The tiger. The hare or rabbit. The dragon. Look at that dragon. The snake. The stallion, a horse. The goat. The monkey, my favorite one. And then we go back full circle to the, the rooster, the dog, the pig. And we move back to the year of the rat. <laughs> Wowzers. Now, I think it's actually kind of cool. <laughs> For a rat, that is. Come on. It's three nines fine silver. Year of the rat. Then you get the... Um, Oriental uh, symbol. I'm not quite sure. It doesn't really look uh, Chinese, but it is. I think it's Korean. I'm not quite sure. But there we go. The year of the round. Now, what I like is I, I love the mount finish. Um, and they do these in various finishes. But you look here at the leaves, and these actually are super, super reflective, along with some of the berries, how they just kind of stand out and pop at you, and it is super cool. Let's, uh, let's get it right into three times. I'll back it up here and let you get some super awesome detail. Look at that. He has a happy face. Now, I have seen and I have reviewed some really ugly rats in my time. But, you know, they've done it justice. The tail doesn't look like something you shy away from. The body on the rat looks more like a mouse, to be fair. The face is cute, it's adorable, it's welcoming, as opposed to... The typical stereo image that we all have, which is, you know, they're raking through and digging through rubbish. But yeah, look at that. Look at that beautiful, just, it's gorgeous. Now, we also have a maker's mark down here. This is not one I've seen before. In fact, I'll zoom in a little bit more. Sorry for the shakiness here. Let's try to focus. It looks like B for Bravo and K for Kilo. So, BK. So, uh, that is cool. So, this is the first in the series for the Lunar Rat. It's a lovely reeded edge. And again, I've said this before. I like when you can see what is to come. So we obviously know what the next year is and so on and so forth. Now, for those of you ambitious and who want to actually do something, this is definitely, if you want a collection to start, this is one I would recommend starting. Um, just because it, just, it it lays itself wide open. The Lunar series, everyone has done it before. Um, but what makes this super special is this outline. The fact that Queen Elizabeth II is small. Also take into consideration, this is the first year now, yeah, okay, we are facing a you know pandemic and everything else, but it is something that you know you could say, look, I started this in the worst possible time ever, ha <laughs> ha. And you know what? I'm not going to regret when I tell Martin, the silver trader, that I want this. That means I have to buy this coin. There's a few of them 
that I'm gonna have to buy, I'm afraid. And that's just primarily because so much amazing stuff is coming out of this mint right now. It is stunning. I believe they do this in gold. They do this in a proof finish. Just wowzers. There are a few mints out there right now. The Korean mint is another one that is just super, super awesome. Um, and uh, that's something to really look forward to, guys. Uh, you're not going to be disappointed from the Korean mint. Um, just amazing stuff. Um, but there we have it. So, how do I feel overall with the year of the route? Well, I've already mentioned, I've seen some really, really ugly designs. This one here by far is not. It's something I'm quite proud of. I think that, you know, it is, it has everything that you would want and, you know, could ever hope for. And if the rest of the series, because this is one of those coins that you just don't know which side to put down. So you you maybe want two sets. <laughs> I think I do. So this way I can have one set facing this way and the other set facing this way. Um, although it might be quite repetitive because you can get the same design over and over. So perhaps just buying an extra one and sticking it up so you can have that side facing. I think that's a bit more sensible. There you go. Top tip from, uh, well, a rather crazy guy. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to me ramble on about another piece of silver. Um, and uh, yeah, stay tuned. There's plenty more stuff to come. And I do mean plenty more. Um, I'm still reviewing stuff. I'm still trying to look for the positives, look for what is fantastic and what's, and what's out there. Um, and, you know, things to add to your bucket list. This is one of them, definitely for me. In fact, I, you know, I am fortunate enough where I can now just turn around and say, yes, I do want that and it's mine. But I know a lot of you guys will be struggling to, you know, get an ounce of silver or you know britannia or whatever um and you know just keep stocking um uh, keep it up um i will talk about what your stack may mean or may not mean uh in another video that's actually something i do have planned and uh we'll go through there so without further ado thank you so much again for watching have a great day and i will see you on friday bye for now